Today I'm excited to share with you the beach poncho that my mum and I made a few months ago. So I've been avoiding editing this just because we recorded hours of footage both on the camcorder and my camera and I had a lot of matching up to do and getting it ready to release um, but I finally got onto that and finished it today. So I'm excited to share it with you now it's all edited. So basically what happened is I got two large towels on sale at the supermarket and I knew that my mum wanted a beach um, towel poncho to put on after um, going to the beach so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to, to um, try it out. Uh, I don't have many fabric shops near me so it's quite handy to use towels if they're large enough so this was a brilliant opportunity to have the correct fabric for the project. So yeah basically what will happen is I'll guide you through what we did. So I've sped up all the footage because obviously it took us a few hours to make it. Um, so I've time lapsed the footage, but I've done a voiceover so you know what's going on. And I'll try and add some graphics as well, just so you have an idea of what I'm doing in case it's not clear. But we're really happy with the end result, so we'll put some pictures up at the end, and I hope you enjoy it. So we roughly worked out how long we needed the main body piece to be. So these towels are 100 by 150 centimetres, so the width is 100 centimetres, the length is 150. We decided that it needed to be just over a square. We made the main body length 105 centimetres, which meant we cut off 45 centimetres. So we laid it out on the table and cut off that amount. Obviously we kept the bit we cut off as well, just um, because we'd use that later on for the hood. So as you can see, I'm using the Fiskars, um, a bit like a fabric guillotine, um, but it didn't work very well with the toweling fabric, so we ended up going to dressmaking scissors in the end anyway. And because we were using striped towels, we needed to ensure that the stripes well, we kind of decided whether we wanted the stripes to match or not. Um, you do need to think about the nap as well with toweling fabric, but it was either going towards one side or we decided that it didn't matter enough and that the stripes not matching on the shoulder seam would be more annoying. So anyway, so we cut the second towel this exactly the same way, so they're both now the body pieces are 100 by 105. So just to check that that fitted okay, we pinned down the sides, so they'll be the future side seams, and then we put um, quilting clips um, for the shoulder seams, leaving an opening for the neck. So this is um, a beach cover-up that we were making for my mum, so she, you can see there she's tried it on, and we're just looking at how the neckline should work. So. We decided that it just needed to be around the collarbone, so there's me doing a fabric mark just where we think it should be cut. Okay, so then we uh, faffed around an awful lot about the hood, and basically I've fast forwarded this really quick. We spent ages having a look, just um, judging it by eye, pinning it trying to make a luxurious looking hood really catastrophically failing so in the end so yeah we we kept pinning it and yeah in the end we decided that it was best to copy off a simple hood from something we had at home so what we had at home was um, a nice hoodie of mine okay so what we did was um, as you can see, yeah, it's made out of two pieces, this hood, so it was a really nice one to trace. So we got some scrap paper to use and placed the hood on top of that, and then we drew around the hood, marking um, all the edges. So as you can see, we did add a seam allowance to the um, back of the hood and the front. Um, we hadn't added one to the base, so that's what we did there. Um, but after measuring it up with the um, what was on um, the opening of the beach dress, the neck opening, we actually had to add three centimeters just because it didn't completely match up with the hood we'd chosen. Right, so happy with um, the template that we'd created, we then 
cut out the two hood pieces so um, we folded it over here. We did actually in the end cut it out again because we didn't pay attention to the stripes. So once we'd cut out the two hood pieces, um, there I am using the overlocker and I'm overlocking the curved back seam of the hood. Right, so we're happy with the hood there. There's Phil in the background, just looking around, wondering what's going on. Uh, we've also nicked his chair there, which is why he's kneeling. So yeah, we're happy with the hood. So the next thing we decided to do was work out exactly where the hood would go. Here I'm overlocking the shoulder seams, so I'm, I'm going from the end of the neck opening to where the armhole openings are. And then I repeated it with the other shoulder seam as well. Okay, so with that done, we then um, went about to attach the hood. So what we did at the front was we did cut down to where I marked the collarbone. So we've got a, a nice opening there. So yeah, then we just lined it up in the center and pinned it all the way around. Once we pinned it, we then tacked it into place. Um, just because the toweling fabric does move about quite a lot, um, so it is quite challenging to work with. And it is really thick, even on the overlocker, which is fairly adaptable to most stuff, it was struggling a little bit. So before we attached the hood, we did check it on I want to do another fitting just to double check just because it would be a right nightmare to you unpick so we thought better safe. We also double checked um, how the armholes would be. That was the moment we realised that the perfect pocket for it would be a kangaroo pouch pocket. So here we are just roughly working out where we want it to go on the beach dress. So here I am just taking some measurements. So we've pinned it where my mum thinks it would hang best and I'm scribbling some rough measurements. I think we ended up tweaking this as we drew it out, but just to give us a rough idea of how we were going to do it. Right, with a rough idea of the measurements, um, we then drew out the kangaroo pouch to scale. As you can see, we were adjusting as we went along. We decided that the original measurements weren't narrow enough at the top. So we ended up increasing the lower, the, the base of the pocket and shortening the top edge just to give it more of, um, I guess, a, an angle for the pockets. Yeah, we ended up drawing out in a different pen just so we knew which was the correct line to cut on. Right, so next we cut out the patch pocket. And here I am overlocking all the edges just so it won't fray. 
I don't think we bothered with the top one because it was one of the original ends of the towel. So now here I am just marking up, so I'm pre folding in the seam allowance as its patch pocket so that we don't have any raw edges, edges on the outside. And then there's my mum, she's just tacking, so she's just tacking the pressed in, the folded in edge that we've just created. Um, again, just so it doesn't move while we're trying to stitch it onto the main piece. We then went about getting it positioned onto the front of the towel cover up. So here I am just pinning it all the way around so that we've got it there. Before you attach it to the front piece you do need to stitch where the pockets open so the two diagonal lines. So you just need to do a straight stitch on this. I did actually forget to do this so we ended up hand stitching it. <laughs> which I wouldn't recommend, I'd just do it on the machine if you don't forget. So once I'd pinned it onto the front piece, I then tacked it into position again. Like I say, it, I just didn't want it moving around too much and I felt it was a lot safer to spend the time tacking. Right, with it all tacked in place, I then used the sewing machine to stitch the top side and the lower side into position as well as the two vertical lines on the sides of the pockets just before the um, diagonal lines where um, which are where the hands go into the pocket. With that in place I then pinned the sides together. We left a little gap at the bottom And yeah, using the pin, mar pin markers that we'd done, we then added, we, we ensured that we didn't stitch over the armholes. Alright, so with the sides stitched up, the final thing we had to do was add bias binding to the front opening where we'd just cut down to the collarbone. We didn't have to do it on the hood. If you did cut your hood on a raw edge, I'd recommend putting bias binding all the way around the hood as well as the neck opening. But as we'd only done it on that lower section, um, the bit, I guess, from the neck to the collarbone, we just had to do it on that V-shaped bit there. Hello again, so I hope you enjoyed the footage of the beach towel poncho being made. So we had a lot of fun creating it. As you noticed, we had to um, think about it as we made it up. But obviously if you did follow those instructions, you could probably make it in a much shorter time. With the toweling fabric, you do need to um, be careful just because it's quite thick. So if you've got a basic machine, you might struggle unless you add a walking foot. And yeah, I found that tacking really helped me get through it. Um, and it did struggle on the overlocker a bit. So you just need to make sure that you know, you're feeding the two layers of fabric together appropriately. So yeah, we took a couple of photos of mum wearing it uh, more recently, because um, it's the summer at the moment in the UK, so um, we managed to snap a shot of her wearing the beach poncho on the beach, which was lovely. Um, but we do obviously have some pictures we took when we first finished making it as well. So we were really happy with the result. It's a nice, comfy, I'd say it's quite a universal size as well, so, um, you know, I tried it on. I'm a slightly different um, shape and size and I found it really comfortable as well. I think the only difference if you're making it for a different size is you might want to consider shortening it a bit more um, if there's someone who's really petite 
or you might want to move the, um, the pocket piece a bit higher or lower depending on that person's body length. Um, but they're probably the main adjustments I'd recommend to make. You can probably still keep the neck opening pretty much the same and the hood will probably work for most people. Another thing to consider is the weight of the towels or the thickness of the towels that you're using. We use quite substantial towels so although it's um, nice and cozy and absorbent if it was a really hot day it might get a bit too hot after a while. I think after you've gone on the beach in Cornwall though you're quite chilled after that so it probably won't be a problem down here but possibly you know if, if you were going elsewhere it might be a bit too warm for you. Um, it's also obviously it takes up more room if it's a thicker fabric so you know if you were packing it for your holidays you might struggle to get it in your suitcase um, and also the weight so you know it's an extra weight on your shoulders so to speak. So yeah I hope you enjoyed that I'm considering um, adapting the pattern pieces that I did make for us and writing it up into an easier to follow pattern so let me know if you're interested in that and um, but that's it for now thanks for watching.